to the Yield Maximizer project. So uh, I'm Tyler Penyak and I'm the guy that designed it along with a good friend of mine, Jarrett Wingarrett. And uh, my story is that I farm at Sturgis, Saskatchewan with my dad, about 8,000 acres. We run a canola and wheat rotation. And how I got into it was actually because of my dad. I saw when I was a kid, uh, he was probably the first one to ever use a drop pan. This is back in like 95-ish. And what he had was a window pane that the glass had been broken out of and he uh, replaced it with a sheet of fiberglass. And he would put the combine in drop, like dropping a windrow. So you're catching total loss right there. And uh, he would run behind the combine and throw it between the uh, tires and <clears throat> the, the discharge on the combine would go over top of it. And you'd see the loss, total loss would be on the pan. But there was no provision, like there was no standard of measurement for your bushel spray or loss. And there was no, uh, like there was nothing to tell you how much you were losing, no standard of measurement. So I improved that and made mine has an easy way, kind of like a rain gauge to tell um, how much your losses are. And uh, you don't need to download an app or estimate any yields because one bushel per acre loss is one bushel per acre loss, no matter if your crop is yielding 100 bushels per acre or 10 bushels per acre. One bushel per acre loss is the same grams per foot no matter on your yield. So it's a very easy way uh, to tell your losses and you don't need a, even a digital scale. And uh, to put it on, it goes on in minutes. So it's the easiest to put on and the only one with a screen to help with cleaning time. It's the best drop pan in the world and it's something that every farmer should have because I think through extensive testing, if you're not using a drop pan, about as good as you can get your combine is you're wasting an extra bushel and a half per acre just by looking, which is what most people do, set by the book, look on the ground. And canola is black, well, usually, and so is the ground. So uh, there's no way on earth that you can tell how much canola you're throwing, especially when you're spreading your straw. So uh, yeah, so that, that's the story of the yield maximizer. I'm doing this for farmers so that everybody can have a cheaper drop pan than what's out there today, because now I think they're uh, about 3,700 for a bushels plus. I just, I paid when I, I actually did buy one. And it's a good thing I did because I saw that there was a lot of room for improvement. I'm not cutting down their product at all, but uh, it works. And uh, there's just a lot of things that could be improved on it so that it's something that every farmer has. It's, but it's gotta be easy to put on like, and take off and easy to check. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, the story of how we got into it. And we'll get into how it works and the money you can save. Okay, so here's how you can save money with a drop pen and how much you can save. Uh, average farm in Saskatchewan is 1,700 acres grain farm. So times 1.5 bushels per acre. That's 2,550 bushels. At $11 per bushel, that's I think it was about 28,000. Yeah, 28,000. 28, On average size grain farm in Saskatchewan. But you could feed a lot more people with that and uh, you know farmers would have a little more money to get into the uh, into the you know economy in Saskatchewan. Okay so the yield maximizer we're hoping to get it out there for about 1500 bucks which is it might have to be a little more than that but we're hoping that we can get it out there for 15, 1700. Uh, depends how it goes um, but one thing is for sure, I want it to be the cheapest and it should be because there is no uh, scale. There's no uh, app needed, it's just the drop pan and the tube to testing your bushels per acre. So, so on the average farm, that's like 18 times uh, ROI, return on your investment. Like, and that's in the first year, right? Like it's, it should pay for itself on the first field like that you do. But, Okay, and then here, when you go into our, our farm size now, we're at 8,000 acres. So 8,000 acres uh, times 1.5 bushels per acre. That's 12,000 bushels in a year. And then times the average price of $11 
between wheat and canola. $11, which is what it was a couple days ago. It works out to, I think it's 132000 132000 in one year. So to me, that's something that if it's easy enough to use, you know, it doesn't take much time to install and check your losses, uh, everybody should have that because, like, there's only so much grain out there. Let's put it in the right place, you know, and feed more people. Lightest in the industry, even with the screen. Just set it down. And then that's our, uh, our uh, board, checking total loss. See, so then it's got this uh, folding top screen, but this is the shield that um, they all have to have uh, some kind of a shield like to protect uh, protect the pan from grain falling on it before uh, you drop it. Like you have to go so far in the crop, dug in as we say, uh, to load the combine up and then you hit the button and drop it. So usually that takes like I don't know, 100 yards or something, 75. So you need this to shield any grain from ending up on the pan. So and we've made it, it carries like a guitar because I used to be in a band and uh, I thought that that would be pretty good. So it's like this, like this, and then it's out. And you can't actually drop it from the middle, but most people say it should go like this on top, right here. And these magnets are kind of a pain in the ass, so we're gonna be getting rid of them and attaching right to here. So these will be bye-bye, but um, we do have some magnet pads here, but it didn't work out to be strong enough. But Okay, so now, how do you put it on? Well, just it's a matter of just like this. You just kind of find center and see sometimes you can't, uh, there's something in the center, like we make this for any combine, any axle. So here is where you can slide the, like the pan always stays in the middle. That way it's never hanging off the side. So you can slide it over this far between here and here. And something we're looking into is taking this out so that you can slide It'll cut some weight off it and it'll also be able to, you'll be able to put the, the mounts where the magnets are anywhere. Cause see it has to hang. You have to get that hanging uh, effect. Otherwise, sometimes the, it'll be too much weight and it'll just pull itself off. So like this, and then it's on. And then just, it doesn't really matter, but you can level it or you can, it doesn't even have to be leveled, but sometimes some people probably would want to so they're level enough for me so now that that's on uh, you can do it like once you set these and everything for your for your combine it's not really that bad but we do have two x9s and two uh, s series and like this will work on any combine any axle i'm pretty sure uh, we've tried it on most of the modern ones and it's it's good because you can you can move this to where like this has to be in the center of your uh, machine so that, uh, you know, like this has to be in the center, but this always can't mount in the center. So sometimes you have to take this and put it on over here. Uh, yeah. So then, okay, to put the board on, now it's just uh, you turn your switch on. That's on the remote. Uh, Damon, if you will, do the honors. Okay, so there, you heard the click. Uh, the uh, production model should have uh, a light on here and you'll know when it's on uh, but yeah so then it's just like this on we go right on and up and there it's on so now we just use these to hold the cover but what i was saying before uh instead of using these we're gonna just attach to here, I think, or even down there would probably work. One less thing for, uh, make it better for the farmer, right? But yeah, this just holds the cover, and then uh, now this, yeah, just 
kind of, I like to make sure it's over top, protect uh, more of the screen. These don't have to be that big. We want to show it so that uh, we may exaggerated them a little. Uh, but yeah, so then uh, I'm just going to put this here because it likes to uh, fall better on a stubble is more gentle than a concrete floor. So right there. Now, Damon, you want to drop it there, buddy? When the, see, when the combine's moving, it's, uh, you know, it comes off a little smoother, but it doesn't really matter. So then, see so you have your, your uh, chopper folded up. So all of your discharge from your combine, everything that's coming through the combine is coming through right here. So it's, uh, <clears throat> this is 65 inches. And uh, the, I think that's the biggest in the industry. But the thing is here, every... John Deere has about 70% of the combine uh, on a global spectrum, 70% of the combine market. So you really want to make sure it does work well for a John Deere because 70% uh, of the combine market is uh, yearly owned by John Deere sales. So, yeah. And then, yeah. So then to reload it, you just put it back on and yeah, it's all pushed. But you can drop it from your phone too, but... I like a remote because it's one more thing to lose. <laughs> no. This is the key here. It's got to swing on these things. And then you got to be able to, if you, so if you can't put it on your axle, if it's, if there's something out here, you can put it up here because you can take your magnet off and put it from above. So you could do it from, uh, I think we had it on, yeah, on here. Now this is now the, I think in the last year, the fifth one I've built and I had two before, so. Uh, like I used the same concept on the board, just I had wing nuts, it didn't, there was no hinge, I had wing nuts and that you had to take off every time. So you dropped it and you had to take the wing nuts out to get rid of your chaff. But the reason this is key is because, uh, so normally, like with the bushels plus or whichever other one, like you just get a pan full of straw. So like you drop it, now the next step is, okay, this is covered in straw because like all the discharge of the combine comes out of here. So you just give it a shake, the grain falls through, you flip it up and then you dump it onto your, uh, onto your pans. So then how this works is normally you do this on your end gate. So you've uh, screened it out. So, <clears throat> you know, like you flip the screen so you got a little bit of chaff and then you just uh, take this, I have this little door here, but so then you go like this and you dump your grain, a little bit easier on the end gate, but onto your, uh, I like to put it like this, cover them on the ground with it, dump it out, your losses, okay? Then, <clears throat> now what we've done is, uh, so from here you go on to <clears throat> here, which is the normal size of these things, right? So we're gonna make them this size when I learned to weld aluminum a little better or get a better welder. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're gonna make them smaller, so less stuff to pack around. Then you go with your grain. This is just says it's just the right size right here. So you go from here onto here and then into here. Okay, and then how this works is so you have your different header sizes. There's only five in the industry, really, five different like 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. And see on every that's why I've used the Pentagon. Five headers, five flat sides one dedicated to your header size. So on this farm we grow wheat and canola only, so but they could have every crop on it. Uh, but so here, 45 foot header, and then uh, one bushel acre loss, wheat, one bushel canola. And then here's your two bushel mark, two bushels loss, and the canola is right up to the top level with your two bushel. So <clears throat> no scale needed, no, uh, yeah, no scale needed. And, how I come up with a formula that's grams per foot per bushels per acre loss. So with a 45 foot header uh, in wheat, 28 grams per foot equals uh, one bushel per acre loss. I think it is in with canola, it's 21. So how you establish that margin is uh, there's 2,640 feet and a half mile. Every 16 and a half feet on, an, on a quarter section is one acre. So uh, every 16 and a half feet times 2,640 is uh, one acre. So when you go down the field once with this <clears throat> uh, 45 foot header, you're doing roughly 
2.6 acres. So one bushel per acre loss is 2.6 bushels. So you take 2.6 bushels and you uh, times by, four, by uh, 50 for wheat, 60 for canola, and that gives you your pounds for one bushel per acre loss and 2.6 acres. Then what you do from there is you times that by 454, switch it to grams, divide by your 2640, and that gives you your grams per foot for one bushel per acre. Put a mark where each one is relevant to the header size, and all you need is this. You don't need a $500 scale with bushels plus or to estimate your yield and download an app. You just uh, dump in this and go. Then you do your first test and say your losses are here. So you slide the indicator up to the level of the grain, then you can dump it out, spill it, whatever. It doesn't matter, you know where you were. Then uh, you do your second test, make your adjustments to your combine, do your second test. And let's say now, oh, we're down here. Okay, boys, we're doing a lot better. We're down to that one bushel per acre. So, uh, yeah, and by the way, I count the first quarter bushel on any combine, nothing's gonna really get it unless it's like a special day. Okay, so one thing I wanted to add to is this is the first of many products. We also have another one involving a laser and the end of your sprayer boom that's really cool. And uh, resources are not endless, but we have put quite a bit of time in on it and it's gonna be awesome.